My friends, a lot of you have been talking about central bank digital currencies and uh, where they might be built on. And uh, you will find this video very helpful because to me, the only platform it would make sense for central banks to put a central bank digital currency on in terms of the blockchain and crypto would be internet computer. Now, why do I say that besides having a bag of three, almost 4,000 ICP, most of which is locked up indefinitely? Well, it's because of the technology. Let's look at central bank digital currencies from a practical point of view. The goal with central bank digital currencies is to get people all using something that can easily be centrally controlled. Now, do you think that is something centrally controlled by individual countries? Or is it something that wants to be controlled globally? I imagine with central bank digital currencies, where the, the proponents of this are looking for global financial control. So if you want global financial control, is that something you're going to be able to put anywhere besides internet computer protocol? Would it be practical to put it on a crypto blockchain Everything besides internet computer is not a full stack development platform. So if you have a central bank digital currency on anything besides internet computer, you would have to build a separate website on it, which would have to be hosted somewhere else. And that website could get hacked and all your people could get ripped off. And that would not be in the same system. It would have to be secured and take significant IT teams and personnel to do that, and then it would have to interface with whatever blockchain that you would put the CBDC on. All of that equals expensive and uh, complicated with lots of liabilities and potential problems. If I'm creating a central bank digital currency, the last thing I want to do is create something and then look stupid because some hacker takes over the website and steals a whole bunch of money from uh, people that then I have to go in and fix that. If I'm creating a central bank digital currency, I want something that truly can be sold to the people easily and say, look, this is a better way, instant transactions and uh, global compatibility. You can use it anywhere. And in order to do that, you would want a full stack crypto platform, which means you could build the website, the coin itself for all the coins for all the countries and the back end with all the user data, you'd need some kind of identity solution that's already built in and functioning, ideally. And you'd want to be able to deploy this as cheap and fast as possible and do that somewhere, which would make it simple and that every country around the world could potentially use. And you'd ideally want to do this where you wouldn't have like clear centralized points of failure so that if one country or one state was hostile towards the CBDC system that they couldn't very easily just block everybody from accessing it or pass a law. And if it's hosted on centralized servers, for example, you uh, run into countries that have a lot of power being able to mess with it. So the ideal system, if I wanted to make a central bank digital currency that all different countries could turn all their currencies into CBDCs, the only place technologically that could handle that is internet computer. None of the other blockchains have the technology to run an entire application fully on chain to do pictures, decentralized uh, or even centralized identity solutions, and uh, to be able to then swap all that stuff directly on chain. And for every country, every country could be able to not all at once. The network would need to add some more node machines pretty quickly. But the only place technologically it makes sense to try and launch CBDCs for real for the whole earth would be internet computer. Now, yes, some countries have experimented and tested out, launched their own CBDCs on their own platforms. But I would argue in most cases, that's not the... That's just a test run. That's just trying out and seeing what's possible. The real goal, if you're into the CBDC narrative, the real goal is to kind of figure out what doesn't work with CBDCs and then get a system that everybody will truly get on board with around the planet. And uh, ICP is the only spot you could do that.
ICPs set up perfectly where you could have countries build their whole applications on ICP for all their central bank currencies, and then you could swap it all out together, and it could easily be sold to the masses. You got people like me who sold ICP to the masses for free organically, although I do have a community grant for my ongoing videos. I'd make this video anyway. You've got the technology behind ICP appears to... That's where everything is headed. And you see people are adopting it naturally for free. And applications are building and there's a thriving ecosystem that's growing cheaper than anything else. To me, if you're really researching and looking far ahead of things, all the CBDCs are most likely going to build on Internet Computer. And uh, many of them may be planning it already and uh, trying to get their citizens to use it and even to swap among other cryptocurrencies so that their local currency will have a chance to be used more broadly by more people around the world. Interoperability with CBDCs is really key to having it go global. Now, I personally would like to see something like ICP become more of a global reserve currency instead of US dollars or even instead of Bitcoin or Ethereum. I'd like to see something like ICP that has a foundation on technology become the main currency we use. But what I see is that central bank digital currencies could easily coexist alongside all these cryptocurrencies. And because internet computer is a Bitcoin and Ethereum layer two, it's very attractive if you want the most adoption, which we've seen countries that have launched central bank digital currencies have very much struggled to get adoption with their digital currencies. And when uh, those test runs indicate that getting people to use a brand new system for currency is generally pretty difficult, the easier thing to do would be to let people onboard to internet computer and then throw digital currencies at them on a platform they're already using and then bring everybody together around the world on this infrastructure. And then you've got everybody in one spot. So I think we could see central bank digital currencies do very well and uh, get launched a lot of them on internet computer and uh, we could have a world going forward where we've got cbdc's we've got chain key bitcoin chain key ethereum icp and all these other sns tokens we could have a very rich financial future together on icp where existing fiat currencies stand alongside all kinds of cryptocurrencies and get traded together so I made this video after we were having this conversation on Twitch because everyone who's interested in the CBDC narrative should know about Internet Computer and should research the technology and the team behind it because there's nowhere else more attractive. There's nothing that makes more sense for CBDCs. Now, I've seen a lot of dystopian videos about CBDCs and look, you and I are creating this world together. The currencies we choose to value and exchange with each other are up to us. And uh, I would like to have a future. The, the future that makes the most sense is where there's just a whole lot of different currencies we all operate in. But the platform those are all hosted on, the platform that makes those all interoperable, that is going to be extremely valuable. And the leader in that right now is Internet Computer Protocol. There's nothing else that I know of that's built a Bitcoin and a layer Ethereum layer two on the same protocol where it's held non-custodially, where the nodes have sharded pieces of the private keys. And uh, therefore, it makes sense to put in all the CBDCs on there, too. And uh, you've got one massive ecosystem that you could truly onboard the planet onto. So I think we can have a very exciting financial future. CBDCs don't have to be looked at it as this big evil thing that if we choose to put up, be uh, considerate with our money and it, those of us that have more wealth give back and help others as much as possible, we can have a very rich financial future together. And that's my goal is to assist in creating a world full of wealthy people. And it looks like the future of currency and the, the future of the internet are going to be built on internet computer and uh, the technology built by Definity, things like Utopia, which bring internet computers 
technology out to private enterprises and governments and militaries, which then uh, all everybody who works on those technology works on Utopia for them will be able to interface easily with ICP, which would make it perfect for doing transactions among all the different ecosystems. So just another another day, another narrative to me that is signaling the future is moving towards Internet Computer Protocol, which is why I'm all in on Internet Computer Protocol, which is why I sold everything besides uh, into Internet Computer Protocol. So if you enjoyed this video, come take a look at my website, which is hosted on Internet Computer Protocol. I'm a full-time YouTuber and Twitch streamer. I recorded this on Twitch after we just started talking about CBDCs and narratives for other cryptos. And uh, I thought, why well, haven't I talked about CBDCs for ICP? If you'd like the best experience for free, come hang out on Twitch. Or you can chat while I'm offline on open chat. And if you want to help me get to know you better, the best thing to do is schedule a one one-on-one -on -one video call with me. If you are ready for more and more Jerry Banfield in your life, I've got six YouTube channels. Sub to them all. My autobiography, my two crypto channels. Uh, only sub to the gaming one if you're into gaming. My vlogs and all kinds of random videos on my original channel. And I make music also. Thank you for 11 minutes of your time today or... Five minutes if you played on 2x speed like I do. Appreciate your time. Hope to see you again soon.